All right, guys, check it out. So I got some new hubcaps from the US for the van to make it look super cute and unique. Let's come over to the other side. Come over here, guys. I think you're gonna like this. Where is this one? It disappeared. We lost it on the road. So we went to three places today. Uh, or how many was it? Okay, we went- I think more than three. I'm trying to do the math in my head. Okay, uh, we went in reverse order to Rona, a uh, great Asian market, and where did we go before that? Costco. Costco, that's it, yeah. For gas, that's right. Okay, so today we need to go on a mission, a special quest. Retrace our steps to find the missing hubcap, because I don't <laughs> want to order a new one from the US because it takes four weeks to come here. Now, gas prices are very high, so our challenge is to use less gas oh than it would cost God. to buy the, hub, the hubcap, which is a challenge. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Let's go. Open. Now another problem too is that that is on the passenger side of the van and so whenever I was getting in and out of the van I don't think I ever looked at the passenger side so I have no idea when we lost it. I was looking at the driver's side the whole time. He had the hubcaps on obviously. So it was on my side. It was on your side, yeah. Good job noticing it was gone. That was good. What do you guys think of uh, Liam's and his old cars? I don't know. Does this happen to other people where like you just buy stuff? I bought, I put them on yesterday. Does this happen to other people? It seems like stuff like this happens to me all the time. Where, what like, a I get, I get something new and then it breaks. That's why I don't want to buy a new iPhone. It's because it's, I'm going to put it in the washing machine again. Okay, what's the iPhone story again, Liam? Alright guys, let's, let's go on another one of Liam's. Old man Liam's. Uncle Liam's special tales. So, I'm really bad about leaving things in the pockets of my work pants. And uh, I made a big mistake a week ago, guys, on Sunday. I accidentally left my iPhone in my work pants because I was really tired after work. And I just threw my work pants in the basket. And Carrie, God bless her soul, she was doing laundry and she just dumped the whole thing in there. And after the now was it after the wash or after the drying that you found out? After it's being washed, I loaded the washed clothing into the dryer. Yeah. I was like, why this pan is so heavy? Good thing you didn't check that beforehand. <laughs> just kidding. No, I just dumped the whole basket of dirty clothes into the washing machine. That's how I always do it. And so yeah, yes, the phone was pretty much destroyed. And yes, like an idiot, I tried to turn it on like a few hours later, which you're not supposed to do. <laughs> <laughs> makes it worse. <laughs> so so we've been actually well, looking around uh, it. Also to add that, uh, yeah. Liam not only have his phone in the pocket and also his wallet, his keys. I had a lot of money in the wallet too. It's basically, basically everything. He dumped it in the pen. I mean, he left I put in my the passport, pants. my social security number, <laughs> my birth certificate in there. I don't know why it was in there. But. So. That phone, I bought it used for like 200 bucks. It's an iPhone SE, which I really like those. But, so, for the next phone, uh, we were looking at a few things. The iPhone 13 mini is beautiful, but very expensive. And, and yeah, if I buy a new phone, there's a chance that I just throw it in the washer again. So, it might not be a great idea. Or you drop it on the floor. Or I drop it on the concrete floor at work, yeah. So anything like that is possible, and so I don't really want to be walking around with a thousand dollar item on my person, really. But, um, yeah. I love that iPhone 13. It was beautiful. And apparently they're very short of them too. So. They're short. They have chip shortage. Chip shortage, so, yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's keep an eye out for anything shiny and dish-like uh, inside the road. Let's see what it we would, can find. It. At anywhere that we went through, it would be on... My side. On your side, yeah. Yeah. 
and it probably could have rolled pretty far because it's round and it would have been going like 40 miles an hour so it could have rolled pretty oh my far. god wish us luck second stop, the Chinese store that wasn't open. Yes. What? There's people there now. What's going on? Well, that doesn't mean they're gonna take it. Let's see if they ever see something shiny. Um, now we're right here. And then we take this road. That's it guys, 50 bucks. Oh my Welcome god. To, like, $15 of gas. So we far. ran all the way from there to here. That's where we found it. Oh my god. It's so cold, we gotta go back to the car. This time I'm gonna make sure that this thing stays on. Forever. Forever. Or else, if not guys, we'll be back with episode 2 of Finding the Missing Hubcap. Whoa. All right, we found the hubcap. How do you feel? I feel great. I'm blown away that I actually found it. I thought there was an exactly 0% chance, and frankly, if not for like one second that it was within sight, it's like one second of driving at the speed we're going, that it was in sight. Uh -huh. Saw it out of the corner of my eye, and I was like, that's, uh, that's it. Honestly, guys, we were both we looking, missed it. and then it was on closer to my side, technically, but I didn't see anything. Basically, Lincoln, you would have missed it. So oh my God. we're lucky that we found it because you know if I hadn't if we hadn't seen it, we wouldn't have seen it. We would have gone home empty-handed. Oh, it's great. All right, guys, let's put it back on the van. And before we find out, it's an unrelated hubcap that doesn't fit it. I think it's the same one. Yeah. How many of these hubcaps are floating around? Saskatoon probably. We spot a few on oh, our way. Let me hide the yeah there were other hubcaps missing on that street. I don't know what that is. So let's see. Four nubs. Gotta get it around two of them probably first. And then tap the other side in. Oh and I feel that. It felt like it went in but the third nub is not on there. So ow. <laughs> Oh, that's your ankle, dude. Okay, well, anyway, it's back on there. Before I drive it, I'll give them all a check, probably. Yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. We found it. Yay! See hooray. you in the next video.